We've had quite a lot of interest, we see, uh, from people interested in screen readers, but particularly with uh, a braille reader or a braille display agency. Mm -hmm. Could you just tell us something about the, you know, the finer f the features of, of both of these, these products? Absolutely. Well, uh, I've actually got window eyes on my computer, um, and uh, and this is the brilliant, uh, a forty cell brilliant uh, that I've got here. So, windows eyes is the screen reader, and yep. uh, the brilliant is, is the is the real display. Is the actual, yeah. is the actual display yeah. exactly. So, window eyes is just another uh, type of screen reader. There's mm -hmm. there's three three main ones. The most popular being Jaws, yeah. um, and there's there's also Supernova, or HAL, mm -hmm. um, and and window eyes is just another type of screen reader. Yeah. But they would work the same really when connected yeah. to a real real display. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. The Braille display is by working, they connect to whichever screen reader you're using. So uh, the Braille will work with, with JAWS, Supernova, HAL, or, or Window Eyes. Um, and how they work is, they, you know, whatever, you know, in certain very simple terms, whatever JAWS or Window Eyes is saying will come up in the Braille display here. Yeah, so, so essentially that's giving the user a more tactile feel, so that they're getting the audio feedback, plus they have some tactile um, as well. Absolutely. I mean, a, a lot of students I know that, that use the Braille display will actually have the speech turned off and mm -hmm. just just use the Braille, and that way you know you, you don't have to use headphones. But absolutely, if you prefer to have both, great. Yeah. But it just allows you to have you know instant access to, to what you're typing or what you're reading, um, and you can check your spelling and your grammar. Um, so that's that's the thing okay. advantage. And this 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 one I don't see any cables attached to it. This is a Bluetooth one, isn't it? That's yeah. right. Yeah. I mean, the the Brilliant all um, work. You, you you can plug them in via USB or serial. Um, but I've actually got it connected to my laptop just now, just using Bluetooth, mm -hmm. um, which just makes it a little bit more flexible. Could you actually give us a demonstration of, of the real display working alongside or working with Windows Eyes? Absolutely, yeah. Um, I mean, I've, uh, it's important to mention that the, the brilliance or, or any real display won't work unless you've got a screen reader working. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So I've got it connected, I've got Windows Eyes on my laptop, and as I say, I've got my, my brilliant connected via Bluetooth. Um, and I've just opened a Microsoft Word document here. So if I type into that, so I've just written, oh, this is a test, very, very original, mm -hmm. and you, know, you can see on the Braille display that that's coming up. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know how up on your, on your Braille you are, Kay, but... Uh, ABCD, <laughs> that's about it. Uh, um, so it just, you know, as you're typing, you know, the, the Braille display, this refreshable display moves, mm -hmm. and, uh, and the words come up on there. Um, if it's a longer document that you're reading through, then you use these buttons down the sides to, to navigate through and, yeah. and just read through the whole document. That's great, thanks.